Hello and welcome to Let's Talk SEO. So let me start off by apologizing for my voice. I have just started to get my voice back after not having it for four days. Uh, mainly I've been hit by the flu and also sore throat, as you can tell. So I'm not doing too good so well, but I'm doing a lot better than I was at the start of the week. So let's get that out of the way because I know a lot of people are going to comment and my voice is not really good or it's breaking up. Now, I've done the research and a lot of people have asked me why is Reddit doing so well after the helpful content update. And so I've been working hard trying to figure out what it is doing that we can benefit from and we can learn from and implement on our own website. So I have a few thoughts on this, which I will unpack in this video. Um, before I get into the video, I just want to say I offer topical mapping and website audit services in addition to monthly SEO. Uh, if you're looking for someone to do an audit to figure out what's wrong with your website, there's a link in the description that takes you to my website where you can buy my audit. Now, I uncovered lots of stuff in my audit, technical SEO, uh, on-page SEO, uh, even if there's there are problems with your hosting, um, even if I do a, a sort of like a content audit, which is also part of my audit, to see if the content is good or why Google will not like the content or like the content, what you can do to improve the content. Also part of my audit at the end is I give you a brief strategy of how to go ahead and use the audit and fix your website. Nine of the 10 times people that use my audit find that not only is it insightful, but they're able to recover their website. Whether you've been hit by a Google update, whether this is a gradual decline in your traffic, getting your website audited by a third party like me with experience means that you're able to figure out what's wrong with the website and fix it before it gets any worse. Very important, especially now that Google is rolling out updates almost every month. And obviously Google doesn't tell us about these updates. Next is my SEO service. Now, if you're looking for someone with SEO for your business or your website, I have a link in the description that takes you to Google Forms, fill out the form, and I will get in touch with you. We can set up a meeting, discuss what you need and take it from there. So if you get out more now, contact me now. I should be able to fit you in starting January. Now, now that we have that out of the way, let's jump into the video. Now, you may have noticed that Reddit shows up for a lot of informational searches. And so if you're searching, for instance, is I teen? And if you go to Google and search, if I, is I, Google is autocomplete, will show you, is iathenine safe for pregnancy? Is iathenine safe for kids? And if you go down the list, it says, is iathenine safe? And it says Reddit. The same thing is if you're searching for how to ask a girl out, it says how to ask a girl out Reddit. And so it's Google is suggesting Reddit. And this is the funny, funny part. If you search nootropics, the auto suggest will suggest nootropics Reddit. And there's a reason for this. In this video, I'm going to uncover the reason why I think this is the case. And the first thing that you need to bear in mind is Google has said that we are people first search engine and Google sees Reddit as a place where a lot of people discuss a lot of topics. The same goes for Quora. The Quora is sort of flown under the radar because I mean, it's made, it is user generated content, but it's mainly users asking questions and users responding to those questions. And so that is also user generated content, but it's not a lot of engagement, which, I'm going to, which is something I'm going to go into towards the end of the video. But hold that thought about engagement. The first thing is people first content. When you go and you go to, for instance, and you search how to ask and go out, and it says the reason why auto, auto suggests is suggesting that is people don't find the results without Reddit to be relevant. So many people are going into Google and they're searching how to ask a girl out Reddit. And so Google has figured out people don't want a regular search results. They don't want websites that talk about dating or talk about finding a girlfriend or a boyfriend. They're looking for information on Reddit. And so it sees it as an informational keyword that's related to Reddit. And it's a people first keyword. And that's one reason why Reddit is doing very well. The second reason is the content on Reddit. Now you can use AI or you can write the content yourself, but a lot of the content that you produce is going to be blind. It's not going to be people first. Healthline, for instance, is a high DR website. It ranks for a lot of health related topics. If you search for new tropics, most probably Healthline will be number one, two or three. Uh, and it will have the, it will have like a 4,000 word article on nootropics with links 
to other to related subjects. So it's a, it's a lot like a wiki for uh, medical subjects. But the problem with, with that is it doesn't offer advice. It doesn't offer medical advice. It doesn't offer personal advice. It doesn't offer any of that stuff. So people who are searching for neurotropics are mainly students, people who are my age, who have to improve their cognitive ability. And so they will search for neurotropics, but they don't want to read a bland article. They've already read those bland articles. They don't want to read the disclaimer at the end of the article that says, we're not responsible for any information on this website. This is just for informational purposes only, and then you should consult with a the physician. They're not interested in that. What they're interested in is people's personal experience with nootropics. And the only place you can find that is on, you guess it, Reddit. And so a lot of these people are searching for Reddit. Also, if you search for something like how to get pregnant, then there are websites that talk about this extensively, or how to get pregnant, or even how not to get pregnant. But Reddit is where they go to discuss the topic. And so it's a people first website as a whole, which is why it's doing so well. And so the third thing is engagement. A lot of people have found this on with me. They have said engagement doesn't matter. Let me tell you right now, kind of engagement is a random factor. If you have people coming to your website and they're not buying anything, they're not reading your content, they're just bouncing off. It has zero engagement. Zero engagement tells Google that your website is not relevant to the search. When your website is not relevant to the search, Google tends to move it down rankings. And so you'll start losing rankings or you will not gain those rankings in the first place. Reddit is one of those places that's high engagement. People are engaging on Reddit forums a lot more than they are on your website, which is why Reddit is doing so well. Now, why has Reddit done specifically well or extremely well after the helpful content update? Why is Reddit showing for a lot more informational keywords or according to some estimates, up to 80% more informational keywords than any other website? And the reason for that is number one, engagement on in those informational keywords. And so people are not only clicking on Reddit and going to the website, but they're typing in comments, they're responding to comments, they're posting on Reddit. And that is all engagement that Google is recording that's helping Reddit do so well. So the way an algorithm would figure out if you know, a website was helpful, remember it's the helpful content update. So, so the algorithm is trying to figure out why is this website helpful? Number one, great engagement. Number two, great content. Number three, people are sticking around and commenting on the website and the articles there are user first. So three things that are working with its favor. Now, how can you use this for your own website? Well, take a leaf out of Reddit and create people first content. Create content that's based on your personal experience, not just generic run of the mill content that all, any, all, any and all websites have. Number two, make sure you keep people engaged on your page. And there are more than one ways to do that. You can add a video, infographics, loads of stuff. I can make a one hour video about how to keep people engaged on your website, but all of that matters. So you need to keep people engaged on your website. Number three, and the final thing is don't target keywords that Reddit is targeting. If you see people are searching Reddit for that key phrase, don't target those keywords. It's pointless. So when you're doing your keyword research, just filter out, filter out all of those Reddit keywords, unless you have a very high domain authority website and you've already built that authority. If that's not the case, do not target these keywords. Okay. Hope you found this video useful. Like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below why you think that Reddit is doing so well and for what searches have you seen Reddit come before. And I will see you guys in the next video.